A volunteer firefighter in Delaware County faces arson charges tonight. Authorities say he set an SUV on fire, and that set a wall of flames shooting into the air and dangerously close to some row homes. Monday night, Shari's off. Chris Giletto is joining us. And the big story in Action News is a volunteer firefighter charged with arson. That's right. Investigators say the 18-year-old intentionally lit a fire and then was working to put it out as, first, as firefighters responded. Action News reporter Walter Perez is live in Colwyn with the details. Walter. That's right, Christy and Rick will give you a live look right here at the charred remains of that SUV. Now, the suspect who's been charged with arson and risking a catastrophe, as you mentioned, also happens to be a volunteer firefighter. This is what first responders found when they pulled up along the 400 block of South 2nd Street in Colwyn last Thursday. Here is also where they found 18-year-old Abner Roberts. When police rolled up. They saw him trying to put out the fire with a, a garden hose. He left the scene. A uh, trooper later came by to interview him, and he admitted that he set fire to that vehicle. It was only after Roberts was arrested when investigators found out the suspect is also a volunteer firefighter with the Yaden Fire Company. We spoke with the mayor of Colwyn, who says this case is disturbing on a number of levels. I hope this is not true for a stranger to come into Colwyn and start a fire. Uh, we don't need this kind of stuff in, in our borough. And now authorities are working to see if Roberts might be behind other recent fires in this area. That includes a mysterious fire outside the home of Stephen Walton, who lives just four homes down along the same block. There were several trash cans lit on fire. Uh, the trash cans melted all the way down to the ground. It could have caught the porch and also spread over to their homes. And District Attorney Jack Stolsteimer says as of tonight, no word on a possible motive. Voluntarily coming forward and saying, I want to be a firefighter, uh, and then we have to arrest him for having started a fire uh, intentionally and risking a catastrophe. And authorities also say they're just grateful these row homes didn't go up in flames. We're also told that Roberts remains behind bars tonight in lieu of 10% of $75,000 bail. Reporting live from Call Win, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Christy? Okay, Walter, thank you. Well,